What's up guys, it is Burton. We are coming at you with another great vlog. Let's not waste any more time and let's jump right into the exciting stuff and let's get started. Got my rod rigged up, guys. I got a bungee corded to the side. Hopefully no bumps will throw it off. I don't want to catch like an eye hole to the eyeball or anything. This will be all I will be bringing today. So if we don't land a couple of largemouth bass on this, then I'm completely losing hope for the area. <laughs> I've been fishing with these all my life and I'll be shocked if we don't land something today. This is called an improved clinch knot. It's probably the best fishing knot that you can tie on a hook. You run it right there through your hook and hold your finger like this, and you'll wrap it, wrap the line around the top line that came through the original about three or four times. And what you'll do is you'll take the end of that line back up like this, you'll have the twist, you'll come through the bottom like so, the loop you just made here, and then turn around and follow through that hole that you just made. Right here, you should have the, the finishing product look like this and pull that line through. What'll happen is all this line will come down and it'll create like a self-tightening mechanism onto the hook. So every time that fish pulls, tighten itself more and more. This is how we're gonna set up our rig. It's called a Texas rig. We're taking our super salty fluke here from Zoom Baits, watermelon seed preferably. I'll catch fish all over the state on this bait. I recommend it to anybody that's fishing in the state of Florida. You're gonna go through the head like this and bring it out through the bottom like that. Run it all the way down the hook up over this stair just so, enough so it covers the, the eye hole of the hook there. Then you're gonna run the bottom through through this little flap and out the other side, out the back. Now what this does is it creates a weedless like effect when you tuck the tip in there. So you're running through the weeds and it'll be completely weedless, but as soon as a fish bites down, it's gonna set that hook right into their lip. That's what you want. All right, we got our bait rigged up. Let's see if we can't bring anything to the shore today. Oh man, you guys saw that? If there's one thing I've learned about these fish, man, it's they love topwater action. Any kind of popping noise, any kind of uh, zigzag, walking the dog is what they call it type noise when they go zigzag side to side like this. And the, the example just shows there that on the retrieval when you're not expecting it, sometimes these fish will follow you all the way up to the shore and just slam your bait right at the last second. I just had another one follow me all the way up to the shore. Fortunately, I wasn't recording. Let's see if we can give it another go. Here we go. Oh man, I missed him. Ripped him right out of his mouth. Hey man, that's fishing. Got some nice teeth marks on the back of the bait. Looking pretty good. There he is. All right. Got a little baby. Nothing too big, nothing too special. But it's enough for me to teach you guys a little bit about. He went ahead and he hit me right here on the weed line. And you see how he's hooked right here in the eyeball. I want to talk a little bit about these fish before I let him go. Look at the green color on this fish. You notice how well this keeps them hidden. These spikes here are real nice defense for these fish. Something swoops down from above or anything like that. You got your gill plates back here. You see all that? It's a nice fish, man. It is a baby, it's nothing too serious, but it's a beautiful fish. It's probably a couple ounces. Let's see if we can bring a bigger one up. All right, it doesn't look like we're gonna catch much. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pack up and we're gonna move to the next spot and see if we can land a fatty. This looks 
looks like a promising spot, guys. They start showing up as soon as you slow down the work. Little baby guy, nothing too serious. Notice there's no leeches and none of that uh, dirty Florida water parasite type stuff on him. He's got a few up here on his uh, dorsal, but nothing too serious. Looks like he lost his eye in battle. I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy back in the water. There he is. Ah, that's a lot better. Here we go. Ah, that's a lot better than the last two. He got hooked right through the top. So you gotta give that fish just enough time so that they can get the hook all the way in their mouth. See how it's further up here? If I had pulled that hook a little bit too early, I probably would have found myself setting the hook without a fish on it. Nice fish. We're gonna get him back in and chase that monster. Biting away this morning. There he is. All right, get out of the pads. You're a good one. Come on. Come on. Get out of the pads. Get out of the pads. Come on. Come on. Yeah. He's hooked up in the pads. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get him out. I'm gonna do everything I can though. Ah, come on. Looks like I'm gonna have to snap this line, unfortunately. He's not getting out of there. That'll end your day real quick, but hey guys, it's fishing. We got a couple fish. You know, I, I can't be disappointed. That's it, he snapped. All right, so that concludes our day of fishing. The good news is I know where they're at. I'm coming back. We're gonna get some more. I'm gonna go ahead and take you guys on a little quad ride, get some fresh air, enjoy the rest of the day before we call it quits. Let's go. like I just found a new lake. Looks like I got that hot new fishing spot, guys. I got some pads down there. I don't want to step too much into this thick grass here. Oh, look at that. What the? Are those mating stink bugs on my leg and a grasshopper? That's an interesting look for you guys. Peace. That's all for today. I had a lot of fun taking you guys on this adventure. It was totally worth every minute of it. If you guys like what you see, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, share with your friends, do all that nonsense. I'm just one guy out here doing this all by myself, so any support you can show counts, guys. We'll check in with you next time for another Burton vlog. Hey.